Hi, in this video we're going to learn how to create a calendar in Excel. We'll walk through an example of a month calendar that you can recreate for any month for any year and we'll create the calendar so that it's fillable and printable. In our spreadsheet the first thing we'll want to do is set our margins and you'll do this by going up here to the page layout tab and choosing margins. Now I like to set my margins at one inch. This setting works well with most printers. And also if you later decide to create a PDF of the calendar and all you have is the free version of Adobe Acrobat, to make your PDF, one inch will be the default margin size. And if your spreadsheet is set to anything other than that, your PDF won't look just like your spreadsheet. So my preference for this is to create the calendar while in page layout view. Now it doesn't really matter which view you choose. This is just my personal choice. It makes it easier for me, but you choose what you like. Now to change your view, just go to the view tab and click on the view that you want to work in. So in my case, like I said, we'll be choosing page layout. The next thing we'll want to do is lay out our days of the week. Now I'm going to create this from Sunday to Saturday. If you're looking to create a work week calendar, you can skip Saturday and Sunday, and then you could just make your columns wider. So we'll type Sunday in this first cell, and then we'll drag it over to where your autofill says Saturday. It's right here. Now, if for whatever reason your spreadsheet does not autofill the days of the week, you can add them as a new list by going to your options or just type them in. So once we have this, we'll now center them. We'll go back to the home tab. We'll choose center. We'll bold them and then we'll give them a little bit of color. Let's make them a dark blue. So once you're done typing your days of the week, the next thing you want to do is highlight all of the columns that have days of the week in them. And then we'll drag, we'll just grab up here uh, between any column and we'll drag them over to where the days of the week span the width of your spreadsheet. And you want to highlight and drag all of your columns at the same time so that they all expand to the same size. You could also set the width of one column and then copy and using paste special copy over just your column width, but it's easier to drag your columns together. The next thing we'll need to do is to create an area for each week. Now, rather than enlarge the rows, we'll create boxes around them. And we're going to do this using borders. Now we're going to do it this way so that we end up with blank cells in each day that you can use to type in or fill in activities if you choose to use your calendar electronically. Now to make sure we cover the full month, no matter the month, no matter the year, we're going to create space for six weeks. Now for this example, I already pre-measured it before. So I guess I did a little bit of cheating, but for the one inch margin sheet that we have, we need to create an area for the week that has seven rows and each row is going to be set at 0.21 inches. So it'll look something like this where I'm highlighting the seven rows and then I'm right clicking and where you see row height, set it at 0.21, click OK, and then we simply add borders around this. So we come up here to the home tab and choose outside borders. And we'll put a border around the day just in this first one. And then we'll repeat this for each of the weeks. So once you're done creating your borders for each day and each week, your calendar template should look very similar to what I have here on my screen with the days being divided by the borders that we created. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the day number for each of these days. And in this example, we're going to create a January 2017 calendar. January 1st, 2017 fell on a Sunday. So we'll need to go to the first Sunday in our calendar, which we happen to be in, and we'll just type the number one. Now, for the next several days, we'll just say equals that first number plus one, and we'll copy this formula to the end of our row. Now, for the second week, we need to remember to reference the end of the week prior. So we'll come to this Saturday the 7th and say plus one, and then now we can continue and resume the prior day plus one, and we copy this down to the end of this row. Now, once you have the second week, it's much easier to just highlight those formulas and copy them for the remainder of the weeks for that month. And 
January only has 31 days, so we need to just delete the other days. And we'll come up here to our header and we'll type January. We'll make this bold and give it a little bit more size. And there we are, we've created a fillable calendar for one month. To go over how we can format this calendar so we can extend it for a full year and also to create a marker for the current day, make sure to watch my follow-up video on how to format a calendar in Excel. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful to learn how to make a calendar in Excel. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.